What's up guys, Bearded Jeeper here, and today we're in my buddy Christian's garage. He broke his mirror here, as you can see. Uh, so how'd you do that, Christian? I had a, a telephone pole in my, uh, in my blind spot, and uh, <laughs> well, we, uh, we took it out. So we're gonna go ahead and get that fixed and show you guys how to do it. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to roll your window down and that's just so you can grab the mirror once you remove these two bolts. Now he has a heated mirror so it's a little bit more difficult than if it wasn't heated because you have a wire that snakes through the door panel so we actually have to remove the door panel so you can get into it and get the wire disconnected and reconnect the new wire. We'll show you how to do that. Uh, first you're going to want to pop off this little panel and you got two T25 bolts down here. He's missing one in this bottom little spot here. But two T25s there, and these are T40s, and you got a, a bolt hidden behind here, but I'll show you how to get that done. So there's a little lip down here you just grab, you pop it out, and it should pop right out of there. And you gotta be careful with these ones because this particular one has tabs on it, and they will, these ones will break. And it's just plastic, so. Now that he got that removed, you can see the two bolts here. Two bolts in here, one top there, and one down there on the bottom. So I believe we just take this in here. This little trim panel tools will help. If not, you can use a screwdriver with a, uh, a towel or something wrapped around it so you don't scratch everything up, but sometimes you have to fight with them pretty hard. I believe it's just the silver piece. Is it the silver piece? Yeah, no, it's just silver piece. <laughs> That's why you can't get it. You were trying to take the whole handle. Well, you know, if one thing's not broken, break another. A Phillips. They put really? Yeah, everything else is like a T, whatever. Torque bits. Torque, stupid torque bits, but that's just a Phillips head screwdriver in there. Two screws, one on each part of the handle. So I've got both two uh, T25s. The big bolt goes on the bottom, this one goes on the top. Different threads, different type. Okay. So the bottom bolt's off, those bolts are off, these bolts are off. We should be able to take this whole panel off now. Yeah, all there is is those little tris Christmas tree plugs uh, prying in here, and you're gonna wanna pry it out and then you're going to have to lift it up off this lip where the it sits on the window ledge there. And it sounds really menacing but you're you're not breaking anything. Once you get it free, you're gonna wanna make sure you don't just yank it out because you got this cable connection here. It's easy, just disconnect that. This is for the blocks. And then drop it. There you go, door panel removed. So when taking apart his door, we realized, see this is the main plug for the heat. We're assuming this white wire goes down 
and it attaches to the main harness, but it looks like it was spliced in here. They took out one of the black wires in this plug and they attached it uh, to one of those black wires. We think that's for the control so the mirror can move back and forth. Uh, his new mirror doesn't have this other plug, so we're just gonna ignore this plug. We're gonna leave it in there in case he wants to splice in uh, in the future, but for right now, we're just getting the window installed. Uh, so this plug, he'll still have heat. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect this plug, snip off this little white plug here, and we're gonna tie a string to it and tie, uh, that way we can fish a string through the door because it's a big S loop in here that you have to fish it through. And we'll push this grommet in through, it'll pull the string through and pull it out the other end so we can attach the string to the new mirror cord and then loop it back through. Hook this guy. All right. And while we got it right here, we're going to, uh, here's my handy dandy twine. Not too big. Okay, so over here we have a, a grommet. This keeps out any moisture, uh, crap that can come in for, you know, how things come out. So this right here kind of, uh, quite easily. So you have to pop it out this way and then feed it through this way. So that way when it goes through, it can be pulled all the way through. And that's why we tied the string through it because that whole cable is going to come out and then we'll have a string to route the new one into the interior. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take the first one out. And these are really long bolts, so an impact driver helps. All right, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna ho hold the mirror with this hand. That way, uh, you know, I won't drop it. <laughs> oh, try to make it easier, but this doesn't want to fight into it. Then everything just feeds into that hole. We got our string coming out the other end, easy enough, so. Oh, don't step on the string because then it just doesn't work. There we go, we got a mirror to the ground. Now that string will give us a nice tracing point and it'll go right back in and into the interior. One dead mirror. Don't you like my decoration? You are a good mirror. <laughs> I salute you. <laughs> so that telephone pole just savagely abused you. In reverse. Okay. So. Alright, so gaskets, everything's pretty. Everything's in one piece. Until you hit a telephone pole again. Oh, oh. Then I can just watch this video and figure out how to do it again. Everything has to Yeah. Success. I'll put my hand under here, catch it, if it falls. All right, so one of the things you want to do is as you're screwing these things in, kind of give your mirror a wiggle. That way it all... So we're gonna put the grommet back in. So we're just gonna fish the first part of it in and then kind of wiggle it back out. 
so it seals. Oops, not like that. Sorry. So again, this grommet is for uh, keeping debris, you know, water, anything that's not supposed to be inside the door. Here you have to line up. Basically want to make sure all those little plugs line up so that way they don't break like that. Right there. Good news, if they do break, they're only a couple bucks for a whole big pack of them. All right, so actually it's probably a good thing because like I said, I forgot to plug this in. That That's why I didn't want to go back together because it knew you needed to plug that in. All right, let's try this again. Um, Phillips heads go in the door. Philip and his brother go in the door. Right. Philip and his brother dorks. And that's how we install a new mirror. All right guys, that's it. It's a super simple job, but uh, if you're a beginner, you're new at doing this, you might not know how to do it. So hopefully this guide helps you. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments below and we'll make sure to answer them right away. As always guys, stay bearded, stay jeeping. I'm out. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that little bell button so you get notified every single time I put a new video out.